Hey everybody, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog, and we are here with a new jailbreak tweak, and that is the 2.0 version of CarPlay iOS. Now this application is meant for iPads, but it works on the 6 Plus as well, the 6S Plus, basically just the larger screens, because this is meant to replace like the, the infotainment system on your vehicle. That way, instead of spending you know five six hundred dollars on a you know Pioneer head unit, you can install a six plus or an iPad Mini in there instead. You can easily access your phone, your music, Apple Maps, messages, your now playing screen, the settings for CarPlay, and your podcast application. Now this does have multiple pages to it, and you can actually add different applications. Simply hold down on the icons and you can rearrange them like on your normal home screen or hit the button on the left hand side to add a new app. So if I wanted to access my Dropbox from my CarPlay head unit here, I'd be able to just tap on Dropbox and it's good to go. Now this new 2.0 version has a really cool feature called Fusion, which allows me to open up Dropbox. It opens up the Dropbox application separately like normal, but when I hit the home button, it jumps me right back here into CarPlay for iOS. So that's really nice, you can go to those external applications. Now here we have the Apple Maps, but a lot of people don't like Apple Maps. Well, in the 2.0 version, you can actually use Google Maps natively here inside of CarPlay. You'll still have your status bar on that left-hand side. So this is a great addition allowing you to opt for Google Maps or Apple Maps. All the different applications here have really nice big screens for you to work off while you're driving if you do need to. So, you know, now playing, podcasting makes it really easy to access while you're working or driving your vehicle. Settings here are the actual CarPlay iOS settings. First up, we have this widget in the top left hand corner, which is currently weather. You can opt to do one of these three. So weather, your current speed in miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and then percentage of battery. You can do it only showing up if you're below 20%, or you can have it on just all the time. Now, I would prefer to have weather or speed uh, because I would prefer to have this hardwired and plugged in all the time and not really have to worry about battery. So our last few basic settings here, we have automatic locking. So whenever you disconnect your phone, it'll automatically lock the screen and not just leave it on for you all the time. We have rate driver if your driver's on the right hand side. And then we have whether or not you want to enable a fusion mode, which we previously mentioned, which allows you to jump into an application. And then when you hit the home button, you go back here to CarPlay. And then we have icon size. I was on 100 previously. Here we're set at 50, where you can go somewhere in the middle with 75. So our next tab here at the top is your license. So you can purchase a license for this for $4. It's really easy to do right through PayPal inside of the application. So we encourage everyone to buy this if this is something that you think you're going to use. But this third tab here are more features that are new in the 2.0 version and that's start and stop. So when you start your car and when you stop your car, what do you want to happen? So for instance, when you start your car, you want to disable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and turn off your data and set your brightness to a certain brightness. Uh, and then do you want to activate Siri Copilot? When you activate Siri Copilot, so when your car is on, whenever you tap on those applications, it'll pop up with Siri asking you, who do you want me to call or who do you want me to message? So really nice, then you have the same thing for stopping. Whenever you stop your car, now what do you want the brightness to be? What do you want your Wi-Fi to be at? So that pretty much covers it. If you're really interested in CarPlay, but you don't want to afford a new head unit, if you can find a way to mount you know, an old iPhone or an old iPad inside of your car's dash there, this is a great alternative. There's a lot of features, the different applications that you get. You know, If you pick up Spotify uh, or iHeartRadio, those you can all add to your home screen too and use it exactly the same as any of these other uh, iOS stock applications. Without spending a bunch of money, this is the closest you're going to get to CarPlay and the new 2.0 version and it's a lot of really neat things that are gonna make this really useful. Again, a license is $4 and you can find it inside of Cydia. If you have any questions, let us know down below what you think of CarPlay for iOS. Please go ahead and subscribe, check our other videos, and until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.